hey, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, let's get it, man. Let's see what he's been up to with the vial and shit. Wonder if he's fighting a um fucking crazy dude today, man. Gresham. He is, I'm down. Oh fuck yeah, dude. He's fighting Gresham. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Gresham coming out already with the mask on, looking like a super villain out of a Marvel flick gone dark, out of blade or something, you know what I mean? Walk into the ring like a motherfucker. Ooh. Dog got the white mask on today. Looking ill, looking pale, maybe a little pale, maybe a little sicker. Maybe his mask are changing color and losing color because he getting sicker. Be cool if he it sounds weird because he's black, but if he like whited his skin a little bit to make it look like he getting paler, that'd be awesome. Just, just, just an idea. I don't know if that'd be like reverse blackface though. You'd have to ask him about that. As a white man, I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. <laughs> uh, let's see how the match goes, y'all. Hey, hey, speaking of white boys, I guess I was wrong. This a this a three way dance, everybody. Yeehaw, three-way dance out in the roundabout down yonder in the squared circle. Let's see how this one gonna turn out down by the water hole where Dusty Rhodes stay. Man, I'm sorry about that, y'all. I just started playing Red Dead Redemption 2 like six years fucking late. Oh, well, man, I'm late on Red Dead. Y'all late on TNA. So what it is, what it is, boy. The match starts up. All three competitors, quick rollos, trying to end it quick. This is for an X Division title shot. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to see who's gonna whoop Ali's ass. I honestly, I kind of hope Gresham wins so Ali can get the sick sick. <laughs> get the ick ick. Man, I don't know what Gresham doing, but he got the red pants on. He got the white on. He got a fucking grill now. He got the symbol on the bottom. He looking kind of pirate. And I kind of like it, man. Going to the pirate nature a little bit with it. Like Davy Jones type shit, bro. This shit kind of cool, man. Like, I don't know if he meant it to look piratish, but it kind of looks piratish. Davy Jones, piratish, Chitalu, you know, Lovecraftian. This, I like it. I dig it. The grill look hard, bro, and the colors look like a pirate. It look hard. I dig it. He, he a grimy motherfucker right now. He'll rob your ass. Probably take your booty, too. I don't know what way, but black shit gonna be coming out your mouth after. Woo! Don't fuck with Gresham. Man, Gresham was about to uh, get Koshido with the shit. Had him down. And I thought Koshido was going to spit up some shit. And he spit out the green mess in Gresham's face. That spot was awesome. And then he had him in his signature move. And Mike Bailey come down crashing with that backflip fucking cannonball splash. Oh my gosh. Good end of the match. That's how you end a match. You know, if this were AEW, they all would have kicked out of it. Big dog Trent celebrating, Bailey celebrating. What? It a, the bitch has security come out and start beating people up, bro. I didn't know these motherfuckers had hands. The security and that other motherfucker, man. Here come bitch ass Ali right now. Looking smug, looking like he run the place. I mean, he kind of do, though, with the X Division title, but still, though. I think we got a chair shot coming up. Ali talking shit. Honestly, Ali looking buffer in the in the body, man. What the hell? He about to wreck this dude. He been working out just to hit this dude in the face with a chair. Hey, seven saved his dog. Let's go. Let's go. That's the homie right there. The homie came in, got saved. Everything went all right. Yeah, well. Everything went all right for Mike Bailey because Trent Seven took the damn chair shot to both knees and then got put in the damn sharpshooter. Dog out, dog tapping, dog's back broke, dog done. Mike Bailey pissed. I never seen Mike Bailey this mad. This going to be a fight. He going to be looking to kick dog's head off. And Ali's such a piece of shit, I don't think it's going to happen. He's slimy. He's slimy. He should know, though. He a cop. He know how to be a slime ball. He a cop. I love Ali, he's awesome. We got Steph Delander SDL out here. Ooh, the Hardy Boys return. Oh man, that's way more lit. I'm sorry, Steph, man. You cute though. But damn, Hardy Boys, fuck yeah. Man, I saw really gay right now. No homo though. Steph Delander looking cute. She looking fine. They had a nice little shot of her booty. She likes to show it off, so I compliment it. Girl, you look fine to me. Shit, I take a plane all the way to Australia. I don't care if COVID hit again, bro. 
I'll get locked up in your country, come meet you. Ah, just spend the day with you. You could teach me some wrestling moves or something, you know? I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in between you and PCO, you know what I mean? Just teach me some wrestling moves. Maybe a head scissors or, you know, headlock or something. Maybe a bucking bronco. <laughs> Hey, we got Rhino versus fucking AJ Francis. Flop doll over here with Rich Homie Swan. Boy, suck it. Dog, Rich Swan just hops in the fucking ring in the match. Ducks a clothesline and just kicks Rhino in the face and ends the match. They're jumping around like a fucking asshole. That shit was funny as fuck, bro. Like, he looked like he did not give a fuck at all. <laughs> Hell no, man. I feel bad for Rhino, though. That's my boy from Detroit. He from Michigan. He rap Michigan. But man, that was some funny ass shit. Good shit, Swan. He played that off so good. Oh, Santino coming out to make some director of authority. Santino flashing his big badge. Just probably fucking got it from the dollar store. <laughs> hey, I should have expected this shit. Santino restarts the match into a Philly street fight. I guess they in Philly tonight. I'm dumbass. Didn't even know it. Flop dollar clothesline out the ring. Rhino, you know what Rhino's up to? He about to grab a fucking chair or a trash can. Let's go. Put it to work. Slam his big ass head into the steps. And Rhino onto it. Let's see what he grabbed. Oh, fuck. He get the table. Let's go. Someone going through the table. Gore tonight. Old school, baby. Hey, man. That bitch ass Francis. <laughs> AJ Francis put the table back. Rhino hit him with the chair. And Rhino go grab the table back out anyways. Fuck you, AJ. You going through that bitch, big motherfucker. Flopping through that bitch. Man, bullshit. AJ won. I guess AJ Francis flop dollar likes to touch Rhino dicks. Because that's how he won the match. He went and grabbed Rhino's dick. He liked to touch Rhino dicks. Oh, hell no. Look like Rhino about to go through the table. Because they're getting the beat down on this motherfucker. Damn. Come on, Rhino. Where's Motor City Machine Guns at when you need them? We need you back, Motor City Machine Guns. Michigan getting his ass handed to him in a TNA ring. Oh shit, PCO baby, PCO baby. He'll have no fury like a lover scorned. Watch out, look at Rich go though. Oh, oh wait a minute, check this out. I'm PCO. PCO went for the dive, bro, and just rolled right out the motherfucking ring, man. I don't know how this dude taking these shots. No table break either. Motherfucker. Fuck AJ. Man. AJ Francis. Flop dollar grab PCO and choke slam him on the motherfucking ramp. PCO taking these bumps. Man. AJ better have a big bump coming to him. I better see his ass fall at face first on the smack. Nah, I'm just kidding. I want something that bad on him. But damn. I want this motherfucker to get his ass beat. Hey, I look up on my TV screen, I see some cute black chick and Sasha Steele's dancing at me, looking all sexy. Please show me more, hun. We'll see what she up to tonight. I've seen her wrestle a couple times. She's quick, she's cool. Reminds me a little bit of Sasha, but a little bit more badass, if that makes sense. Sasha Banks is a good comparison, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's sexy. Alright, we got Giselle Shaw next coming out. I'm actually pretty excited. Her last uh, match was fucking hard. And I know, what, uh, Steelers is good. This Quintessential Diva, she good. So this, I'm actually excited for this match. Should be the best match of the night. Ooh, match start early. Steelers ain't playing no fucking games. You wanna sit there on the ring and brag and look all, try to look all pretty? Nah, bitch. It's a fight. We fighting. Match starts outside the ring. Steelers. You know, Rams are back into the ring. Those are back in. Let's get going. So we got a quick, short little match. Nice little match. Tasha tried to bring it to her. Got caught off guard. The quintessential diva won the match. Looking good. Looking like she getting ready for a title shot. And they got my favorite diva right here. That beautiful blonde angels. Man, let's see how it go right now. We have the beautiful angel, Zaya Brookside, out here talking about how she got screwed over. She gonna get some revenge on the, the asshole anarchy Alicia chick, I think her name is. And then we 
got her talking about step to lander and she just you know she believe in her friends she believe in love hey girl if you want to find love i'll love on you you can love on me a little bit maybe we'll see if it worked just like pco and steph let's just try it out see if there's a little spark in our hearts you know what i mean